This is an army of orcs, and they're being hunted by three men. Aragorn, the human warrior, Legolas, the elven marksman, uh -huh. Prince Jinpei, the three of them, are now seeking revenge and salvation from these orcs, for two of their hobbit friends. Merry and Pippin had been captured by the orcs, they'd been chasing them for days, and they finally had enough. There was infighting, just as they decided to eat the two hobbits. Suddenly, a force of horsemen appeared and wiped them out. It turns out they've entered the borders of the Kingdom of Rohan. They were followed by three others, also encountered the cavalry. After questioning the Knights of Rohan, they found that the orc army had been destroyed, and the two hobbits were nowhere to be found. The three came to the battlefield of last night, and in the midst of their grief, Aragorn realized that Merry and Pippin were not dead. They follow the trail. They tracked them into the even more dangerous forest of Falgoon, a place forbidden to all the races of the world. It is home to the mighty tree people. And now Merry and Pippin have been captured by them, sent to the side of a powerful white-robed wizard. Aragorn's men were tracking them, but it wasn't the evil sorcerer Saruman. It was Gandalf, who fell off a cliff to protect them. It turns out that Gandalf did not die when he fell into the abyss with Yama. He fought with the Inferno and defeated it. His powers were enhanced. He knew about Saruman's plan to attack Lohan. So Gandalf and Aragorn traveled to Lohan. But when they arrived in Lohan, they saw the king dying, with an evil wizard at his side. How could he stop the mighty army of Saruman? Gandalf did not hesitate to use his magic to remove the sorcery from the king's body. The king was restored to sanity and health. But when he came to his senses, he had no desire to fight. To spare his people further suffering, he ordered everyone out of the city, to the Valley of the Sacred Helmet. It was a fortified place, but it was a place of death. So Gandalf decided to call for help to save the land of Rowan, and promised to follow him back at dawn in five days. Look at this ugly creature, on the cliff face. He's got his eye on the two hobbits below, and he is Gollum, the former bearer of the ring. Just as Gollum was about to make his move on them, and tied him to the elfin rope. And when the kindly Frodo saw this, Frodo's goodness saw this and helped him take the rope from around his neck, but only if he could get them into the capital. And so, with Gollum as their guide, Gollum led them to a swamp. It's a dangerous place, but it's safe from the orcs of Mordor. But the closer the ring gets to the capital, the more likely it was to be detected by Sauron. Just then, Frodo saw the ring bearer again, so they took cover. And sure enough, the ring wraiths responded to the ring's call, and it appeared over the swamp. Luckily, they didn't see them, and then they left, with Gollum leading the way. Gollum led them to the gates of Mordor, but the walls and the orc army were strong before them. Gollum said he knew a hidden path, but on the way there, they were confronted by a mammoth army sent by Saruman, and just then, they were attacked by another army. A fierce battle ensued, and Frodo and his men were captured. They were Gundor's garrison, and this man is Ed's brother, Faramir. Notice how incompetent the king is, sending old men and children into battle. He sends old men and children into battle to keep his kingdom from dying. Since King Jordan has been under control for years, the soldiers don't have a decent weapon. There was lightning and thunder in the sky, and at Aragorn's command, the city's garrison and the elves attacked at the same time, killing many orcs in an instant. But soon the walls were blown apart, because the enemy's army was too large. Countless orcs had entered the city through the gap, and King Jordan made his final charge. They fought from night to dawn the next day, and just then, a ray of dawn appeared over the valley. It was Gandalf the wizard, and with him, thousands of the Iron Horse of Rohan. Under Gandalf's leadership, the orcs were defeated. On the other side, the tree men attacked Saruman. They attacked their camp. In a matter of moments, the orcs were scattered. They broke the dam that stopped the flood and destroyed Saruman's base. On the other side, the ring wraiths pursued Gundor. Frodo, with the ring in his possession, was under the ring's spell. Sam stopped it just in time, and the ring was fought off by Faramir to protect the ring from the ring wraith. Falamir agreed to let them go. Frodo once again set out to destroy the ring, and what fate awaits them?